Hi everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva, and I haven't done a painting tutorial in a very long time. Um, I'm going to be teaching again soon, so I decided that I would do some new um, painting tutorials. So, um, and I want to tell you that um, I'm reusing a canvas, so I had something else painted on here, and it just wasn't what, you know, I wasn't feeling it. Just wasn't feeling it so that's why my canvas may look a little bit um weird with the color variation and i'll tell you what i painted gesso over it and you could still see a lot of it but i just used a regular titanium white you know you can use whatever kind this is a relatively inexpensive kind but you know use whatever you have you don't have actually have to go out and buy any gesso so and i'm all about simplicity using what you have so um i've got some brushes assorted brushes here that i'm gonna put right here to get yellow ready for use i found this cute little doodad at a dollar store and it works perfect to put the water for rinsing your brushes and a brush stand and put your little tools in there so that's fun i'm just using a paper plate today as a palette um and um, i've got some assorted colors out here i've got some phthalo green some emerald green yeah uh, brilliant yellow this is which red is this crimson yes crimson um I've also got dark titanium white. Um, you don't really need this. You could just um, kind of mix some colors and make this, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. So what we are going to do today... Oh, I forgot a pencil. Let me get a pencil. Find one with a sharpened edge. Um, we are going to do a fun little Christmas painting, and it is going to be a Christmas llama. So, I'm going to start out um, drawing my little llama. So, I want to start out with the body is kind of like, oh, oh my paint might not be totally dry so it kind of just cut a hole in it so I'm just going to do like a oval for the body and then kind of an oval for the head and then um, sort of an oval for it, llamas kind of have like this big it, they look like they're wearing sweatpants almost because they have kind of a a big poof and then their little hoof down here so let me just and so and they've kind of you know you can kind of give it a little rough edge but we'll do that more once we're painting so um here's another leg kind of try to make it even with the other one I hope you can see this and a back leg so the back legs are going to have shorter hooves and shorter legs and you know once we're painting we can fix if my drawing's not perfect we'll be able to fix it and um, they have cute little ears like this So, and then, you know, that's, that's the main thing. So, um, I have kind of where I want him to be. So I'm going to start out by doing a background. So I'm going to make kind of a baby bluish sea foamy background. So I'm going to pull over some phthalo green. And then this blue is, um, cerulean blue. And, you know, depending on which um, brand of paint colors you get, the colors will change. We're making kind of a light 
aqua type background. I want it a lot lighter than that, so I'm going to add a lot more white. Okay, so I'm just going to rough it in in the background. I'm not going to worry too much about his ears. I just want to go around his basic shape. And this does not, this background doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not worried about, I just, I, I mainly drew in the legs and everything because I want to get an idea of where I think he should be. But then I am going to actually kind of fill that in. Now I need to mix some more of my paints because I'm using a lot of paint and I like that. And I actually want more white in there. I may have to squeeze. You know, anytime I paint any of my paintings, I use a ton of white every time. Every time I just use a ton of white. I like lightness in my paintings. And, you know, I just like what white gives you. So I'm going to add a little more white into there. And now I'm just going to kind of smoosh it all in and smoosh that white in and make a real mottled background. So I'm just doing short choppy. I'm going to pick up some more white and just keep blending it in. That's a lot, but we'll fix it. Just keep blending it in until I get it. You don't want to blend all the white in and just make it a solid blue. You want you want that all the colors, all the different shadowings, and see it just makes it really cool background. I'm gonna go back and get a little more blue right here because that was a little too white. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And so I am going to let this dry before I go on to um, painting the llama. He's white and I don't want, um, I don't want his you know, all the colors blending in. So I'm gonna let it dry for just a few minutes. And it's acrylic paint, so it's gonna dry pretty fast. Okay, I'm back. And my llama, my background is um, probably not totally dry, but it's probably dry enough now that I can start kind of defining Mr. Llama. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to kind of, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and kind of do a llama outline. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a chest. I don't know. I'm not looking at a picture of a llama, so I don't know if I'm doing this right, but hopefully it'll be all right. Oh, my paintbrush just flew out of my hand. That was unexpected. Okay. So, I'm just going to go around. And let's make another leg like this. And then let's just kind of make sure the two legs are even.
And I think I might um, put some gray and do like a really super light gray for the legs on the other side that, you know, they barely show. And I'm using this kind of paint for black. Black, I'm using the black mostly just for outlining in this. Um, and so since it's so, you know, not a major part of this painting, Oops, see how thin that black is? It's just sliding over. And I'm just making my gray. I don't need a whole lot. So I'm just gonna make a back leg and I'm using the gray as kind of, it's kind of in the shadow, you know, and it's gonna be shorter than the front leg. You can see because it's in the rear and here's the other leg. So just do that. And I may give it some more definition a little later. I'm gonna rinse that gray off my brush. I'm gonna come back to the white. And now I wanna kind of just get, make the llama kind of fluffy. So I'm just kind of making some fluffy, oh, see that wasn't very dry right there. But that's okay. We'll fix it. Now what you can do is just take a good size blob. This will use a lot of paint, but you could just do like blobs. But I think what I'm gonna do is just like make little mounds like that just little mounds like this for your llama llamas are so cute i have some llama pajamas and some cute little llama um, christmas plates and things that are just so adorable so I just like, let's give the llama some little fluffies right there. And a little bit, hopefully that gray is already dry enough. Yep, see, it's good. It, this does not have to be perfect. Now, there's a little bit too much white right there and it just looks a little bit weird. So I'm gonna come back and get a little bit of the blue and just kind of go over that because that didn't look exactly right. So I'll just fix any little spot that doesn't look exactly right. I'll get that blue off my brush. And one thing I forgot to put on my um, paint, working area was a paper towel or, or a rag to blot my brush, but I'll just kind of use my palette. Now I'm gonna make the bottom, like his, the bottom part, his hoof. And you're kind of just making like, almost like a bottle shape because oh, that gray part needs to come down a little bit. Let me just fix this. This needs to be kind of even. You can kind of use your, your brush as a, a leveler, you know, to see if you got, and I'm also gonna make the little fluffies with the gray while I'm at it. Okay, so I've got the main parts. Now I wanna paint his ears up in white, up at the top. And they have just cute little pointy ears, almost like donkey ears. Llamas are just so precious. 
okay and I'm just gonna fill in some white in some spots where the white doesn't look um, opaque enough opaque enough is that a real term it's a merry term I think okay now we have a thinner brush and I am going to take a tiny bit of this red and some white and just make a very little bit of pink. And that is just for the inside of the ears. So we're just going to do kind of like rabbit ears. You put that pink in there. So, and there you go. So his ears are done. Okay, so um, I decided instead of that, um, instead of this, I'm just gonna use some of the gray like I did for the shadow down here um, to do his little snout. So um, to do his little snout, you just wanna do a little circle of, a color that, you know, is just gonna make it kind of shaded looking. And this is gonna be like where his nose is and all that. And his eyes are gonna be closed actually. So they're just gonna be like a little swipe. So like that. So um, I'm going to leave that for a little while and let's see, this is dry. No, it's not quite dry enough. So I'll come back when things are more dry. Okay, so I am going to, let's see how dry, it's still a little wet. It's because the paint is so thick that it's taken a while to dry. Um, I am going to take a little of my yellow and get a little touch of green. I want a real uh, lemony green, you know, a very yellow green for this part. So I'm just putting a little green with my yellow. So I'm gonna make like the little camels, sort of like a little saddle pad. So that's going to decorate his back. Cute little saddle pad. Now let me wash my brush. And then I'm going to take some of this, I think the straight cerulean blue. And I'm going to make a little stripe under that. I'm just kind of letting my brush do the work to make this stripe. And see how you just kind of press it out and the brush just kind of fills it in. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna just do a few little dots, like uh, just a little adornment. So let me let me use this brush, I think. And I'm going to start with um, this is going to be like some little beads hanging down. And okay, it's not working perfectly. Um, sometimes it's better to thin out your paint a little bit, like put some water on your brush. But I'm not worried if they're not perfect looking. That's okay. So, got a red dot. Let's do a yellow dot. I'll try just doing a blob. 
And the yellow's not really showing up much, so maybe it needs to be more green yellow. And I'm gonna dip my brush in the water and just put a drop of water in there to loosen it up so that it'll actually make it go on a little easier. The other thing you can do if you want perfect dots is use this end of the brush. I don't think this brush will make a big enough dot for me, but you can see you can just do that. And you've got pretty perfect dots. And I think I'll take the blue now again. That same blue that we used. And this is just adding some cute little decoration to the llama. Kind of like a Latin American little vibe. Now I'm gonna take some of the straight green and I'll pull some over. Sorry, my I bumped into my camera holder and it shook the camera a little bit. So sorry about that. So in the green, let's see, I've got way too much paint on my brush on the upper part of my brush. So I'm just gonna do some little decorative lines and kind of make them change directions as you go around so that they're always kind of facing the middle. And these do not have to be perfect either. So, Okay, now I'm going to take the red and we're going to make a couple of gift boxes on top of the camel's back. So I'm going to take the red and just do a red box on top of his back. So you just want to do a box. Nothing special about it. It just needs to be red. And then we'll Come back with some adornment. So there you have the red. Oops, I made a little boo-boo. Well, I'm just gonna fix it. So, you know, don't panic if you make a little boo-boo. Just kind of, I'm actually, the paint is really thick, so I'm just gonna thin it out with a drop so that it'll paint a little smoother. And this is good to do this when you're not on an easel so that you don't have to worry so much about drips. Now, that is not a perfect box. It's okay, it's fine. The only thing I could say is that my red is almost too dark, the red. So I'm just gonna brush a little yellow into my red and then I'll come back over with red so that it kind of brightens up the red a little bit okay okay now I'm gonna add a little bit smaller box on top of the red box and I'm using I use a screen I put another little dash of green into the yellow green to make it a, a little bit greener, kind of lime green. And if your red paint is still wet, be careful because it might try to bleed into what you're doing here. So just be careful with that. Okay, so that's done. Okay, I'm gonna take the uh, finest liner brush. I actually, this one's not that fine, but I'm gonna use it. Um, I'm gonna make his little hooves in black. So 
So I just got some black and I'm just gonna make like a little box at the bottom of his feet. And this black is kind of maybe just too thin, but it'll work. You see how he's coming together? He's so cute. Okay, now I want to, let's see, which brush do I want? I want to make a scarf around his neck. So I am going to use the red and I am going to paint a scarf. Now, the paint is not going very smoothly because it's so thick, so I'm sorry I keep shaking the, uh, the camera stand. You wanna make like a dot like a knot on one side. And then the trailing. And we'll probably come back with a little outlining to kind of fix it a little bit. If it's not looking perfect, don't worry, we'll fix it. And I'm going to take the liner brush and pick up some yellow and just do like a little yellow fringe at the bottom of the scarf. And maybe I'll do some white dots in the scarf, like it's a polka dotted. So you can see how using the end of your the end of your brush is great for doing dots. Okay, now I'm going to do his face. And I'm going to get a little tiny bit of black and let's see if I don't mess this up. If I do, I'll just paint over it because it's acrylic paint and it's okay. So see, I'm just doing like little, um, little swooshes for I just did little swooshes for his eyes and you can do a couple of eyelashes if you want to. And if you're really unsteady with a liner brush, you know, just go ahead and use um, a Sharpie but or a paint marker, but you really should practice what you need to do for lining, outlining, is to really have your paint very thin. You can see how I had some problems with some of the paint because it was too thick. So thin paint is the best. So I'm just going to do some little bit of outlines here and there. And this is just going to give a little definition. I think this black paint is maybe too thin, but we'll see. So it's like I'm not outlining the whole thing. I'm just giving a few little outlines here and there just to give it a little bit of definition. You don't want to do too much of this because that 
it can you can go too far with it and the most important thing about outlining is to barely touch the canvas just barely barely touch it okay so i am going to now add a little decoration to my little gifts on the back of his of his back um so you see it's just like a ribbon that's on there and for the red one maybe i'll do white because that'll really stand out but i think my white is too thick so let me try to thin it with some water what you want to do is kind of roll you put some paint on there but kind of roll it so that you the key is to not put too much paint on your brush so that didn't go on super thick i'll have to come back over it for that but now i'm thinking maybe it needs another couple of little gifts and I'm gonna switch brushes, not this one. Maybe this one. Maybe I'll do another gift down here. Just another, let me add a little yellow to my red just to make it a little brighter. Yeah, that helps to make it a little brighter. And you can see the angle of my box is not perfect. Um, let's do another color box on top. How about a blue one? Oops, sorry. How about a blue one? This is a new camera setup I'm using, so I apologize for it going all over the place. Okay, so I'll let that dry, but in the meantime, what else can I do? Well, I think what I'm going to, okay, so I um, am painting onto more little gifts. And so I used um, this green and I, I made it even lighter by adding a little white so that it would show up on the dark gifts. So when something's not like, it's just not giving you the effect that you want, maybe you need to lighten it up a little bit, make it a little brighter. Okay, so now I'm getting a few drops, sorry, a few drops of water and I'm doing this really light green. And you can see where we are. Um, the paintings come along very nicely. Um, I'm thinking about actually smoothing out this background and doing some drops of snow. Um, so let me do that. So I don't want to totally smooth it out. I just want to make it a little bit less contrast between the darks and lights. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I need a little bit more white on my palette. So let's just get a little bit more. And we're going to do like little drops of snow. And 
And if any of them don't come out like really round like you want them to, just kind of fix them. And I'm just barely touching the canvas with my brush tip. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so now I am going to write, and you want a really pretty light um, color to do this. I may put a little bit more white into this green, just because I really want it to stand out against the darker background color. And I'm gonna write some words. Ha. Ah. And a little dash, la. And I think I'll use red for the rest. So llama is a weird spelling, L-L-A-M-A. -A. That's not a spelling that comes natural to me. L, L, A, M, A. And I just think that's so cute. Now, I do see one problem with the fala looks very light, very faint. So maybe it needs actually a darker green. So I'm just gonna go over those words. And if that doesn't work, I'll do some white highlights on it. But I definitely want like the Christmas colors in the lettering. Okay, so that's still not showing up as much as I want it to. Let me see what happens if I do some white. Yes, white is bright. And the white is giving it the drama it needs. So to make llama go with fala, I'm gonna just give a little outline. Also with the white on the llama word. So there is your Christmas Fala Llama. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could do like a little Santa hat right on his head right here. Um, I think with his little scarf, it's enough. Let's give the scarf a little highlight right there on the knot so you can see the knot better. Um, I think I'll give a little outline on the gifts to make a little outline in black, to make the gifts really stand out. And those edges weren't real clear. So a little outline on there will help that. And I'll go ahead and give a little like shadow on the uh, on the ribbons so they kind of stand out a little more also and a little bit right here on this ribbon. And 
Oh, let's see. On this one, too. Just so they really stand out and look pretty sharp. And I'm thinking the fa-la, the letters need a little bit of black also. So I'm just uh, doing the shadow on the letters like this. Now, you don't have to do all three of these colors. You can just pick one that you like. But I've never painted this before, so I'm just kind of letting it flow and see what happens. It's okay to paint over the colors you've already painted also. All right, so this is Cajun DIY Diva. If you like this video and you'd like to see more painting videos, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment and uh, share this video on social media so that more people can enjoy this cute little llama painting. And so thanks for watching.